Good morning, tubers. Welcome back to Harris's Brewery again for another day. Today's Tuesday, believe it or not. Yes, it is. And we're picking up pretty much where we left off in terms of uh, the work that's going on. We've got six more benches to complete for the beer garden. And uh, I've also got a few other jobs to finish off. Uh, one of them's putting a doorbell on in the pub. So people can ring that when there's nobody there and I can hear them in here. So that's like 50 meters of doorbell wire to pin up somewhere. That sounds fun. Woo! Not. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue with these. I do need to pick up a little bit more timber for some of these benches. Uh, but once we've got all this cut and put together, then we'll be able to put another six benches in the beer garden and then that should be put to bed. We should be able to see these come together today, actually. And uh, that's gonna be my main focus. And then we'll probably pick up the doorbell and that kind of stuff tomorrow. Uh, we've got plenty of time. Uh, one little announcement. We are entering as a brewery, the Champion Beer of Nottingham this year. A Little bit late uh, notification for us. So we're just uh, sending beer off the shelf, if you know what I mean. So we're gonna to have to deliver that to the John Godber Center in Hucknall, where the festival's taking place on Valentine's Day. And uh, there's a con contingent of us going across there to sample a few of the beers. And, uh, well, chances are slim, but you never know, we might even pick something up. Um, they don't pay places out or anything like that at this uh, particular uh, award ceremony if you like you just either win it or you don't so out of all the breweries in nottinghamshire you can just win the bugger we did come runner up last time i entered it with ivb uh, but they didn't distinguish the runners up they just said there were 10 people who got to the uh to the last table one person won it and there were nine nine runners up in total we were one of them so uh it's a bit Shitty like that, nice to know uh, bronze and silver and all that kind of jazz, but hey oh. So that's something to look forward to later on in the week, but at the moment I'm just going to press on with getting these benches complete and basically getting them out the brewery so uh, we can cask the coconut shy later on, maybe Thursday, maybe Wednesday, who knows, we'll see. And uh, we've got also the vacant and whatnot to come out, and then we're going to have a triple brew day to fill them back up again.
Have I pressed record? Again, boys and girls, it was just another whole host of sanding and cutting timber, essentially. So we've made all six benches. That's one. Three of the benches have uh, different seating. So that's two, three and four. You can see the kind of seating setup we've got on the narrow benches. They wouldn't warrant the thick timber seating because uh, the benches simply weren't wide enough to accommodate this stuff. You can really see how wide it is. It's like two hands wide. And then we've got five and six up here. So that's one of the narrow ones. And in fact, these are both narrow ones, even though that's uh, 100 mil wider than that one. And these are the good ones here. These are the good thick ones. So I'm really chuffed with how these benches have turned out. I've just been sanding the tops on these, so we've taken a finish to that from that. But let's face it, give it uh, six months in the weather and they're going to look the same again anyway. It's just at least it gets rid of a lot of that surface weathering and allows the Danish oil to penetrate into the timber 
nourish the timber and then we'll keep applying coats of that throughout the year and then also on the shakes we've got some shakes in one or two of these so again I will just mix up some uh, resin at some point and we'll pour some resin into those cracks still wants me to do the glow in the dark resin on the tables that are going to be on the out outside which I think is a good idea so anyway that's for another day I'm going to get myself packed up and give Gemma a little tinkle and hopefully she'll be kind enough to come down pick me up and take me home then I can get refueled a bit of sleep and come back tomorrow to do another episode of the vlog. We'll see you then.